different injuries. Are there any lessons that you take from last year's recovery process to get on the field that you could kind of use this time around? I mean, you always learn something. Anytime you go through a struggle or adversity, uh, really just in life, you always learn something from each of them. So uh, just trying to keep pressing forward and, and grow. And um, for me, it always just challenges my faith and what I believe and surrendering that control to the Lord. Um, so that, that's where I get challenged the most and where I grow the most is in my faith. But uh, at the same time, I'm excited. I'm excited to be back out there um, and excited for what this future and what this season is going to hold. You see a long that? time coming to be able to take off the, the knee brace? Yes. Felt, felt great to get that thing out, off and uh, felt good out there. You Is that we've spoken to you this offseason. You sounded optimistic that you'd be out here for today. Now that it happened, what went into getting here? Yeah, I mean, a lot of work, a lot of work, and I'm not going to dive into all the specifics of rehab. You know, I never really do that, but uh, a lot of work. I mean, a lot of work to get there, and um, again, though, just excited to, to be back out there, be with the guys, um, finally facing the defense, all that camaraderie going on. So it, it was a fun day. How, hey, how, Carson, how, what went into the decision with the knee brace as far as the medical staff or just how you felt? Yeah, I mean, it was just a um, – Ultimately, it's my decision, but talking with, with through it with everybody, uh, we just felt that it was best um, going forward. I mean, knee feels good, feels strong, um, and, and I feel I feel better without it. Was there a moment out there today where I mean, you kind of stepped back mentally and just like soaked it all in, or it was it kind of all business? How did, how did you um, feel out there? I tried to just keep it business as usual, honestly. Um, but at the same time, anytime, I mean, once you're back here for OSP, so the first time there's a lot of excitement. And today, finally on the field, going against the defense uh, and, and what that brings and team drills and everything, there's just there's always more excitement. So um, so there's that element. Obviously, maybe a little more for me just because it's been a while. But um, at the same time, I try to just keep it business as usual and, and go complete some passes. So with the knee brace, are you going to go without it in-game as well? Yes, that's the plan. After experiencing an offseason without this, What's the value for you in being out here for OTAs, probably training camp, preseason? Yeah, I mean, I love any time we can get on the field. You know, get on the field together, get uh, start building that chemistry, um, start talking through through things with guys, so they see how I see it, and vice versa. Um, so anytime we can get out there, I, I love it. And so missing some of that time last off season was a bummer, but at the same time, I wouldn't say it's the end all be all. But it definitely is helpful, especially this year with a couple new faces in there. Um, so it's always helpful, and I think uh, you'll see dividends come the fall. Now that you've had a chance to work with Deshaun Jackson, just what have you learned about him? Um, how he runs routes, that kind of thing, and just personality yeah. type stuff. Yeah, he's awesome. He's so far been a great teammate. Um, comes in, works hard. Um, I mean, obviously, I learned he's, he's pretty fast. Uh, pretty fast. He's a pretty smooth runner. Uh, you know, people might say he's getting up there in age, but he's, he can still go. Um, so I'm, I'm excited um, to just keep building that chemistry with him, and uh, both on the field and off the field. He's, he's a great teammate, and you know, I think we're going to do something special with him. Doug said there'd be no restrictions. It's not going to hold you back. Um, yeah, you're such a competitor. Do you ever have to hold yourself back and just kind of, you know, stay to the plan and not do too much? To some extent, yeah. I mean, anytime, like you said, as a competitor, you want to take every rep. You want to do this. You want to do that. Um, but at the same time, you just stay the course. And uh, I feel really confident where I'm at. And, and I feel like I've learned a lot through these processes to, to not be my worst enemy and just um, kind of listen to advice throughout the way. And uh, like I said, I feel good with where I'm at. You spend a lot of time thinking about the injuries. Are there any mental hurdles that you have to clear? I mean, you could say there is, but uh, I feel like I've gotten through them in a, in a good light. You know, I think there's uh, everyone goes through them differently. Um, I think there's uh, just for some guys there's hesitation when you go back on the field, and it all depends on the injury. But uh, for me, I'm always just thinking forward, thinking positively, and uh, I feel good uh, going forward. You talk about not being your own worst enemy. I mean, what, what was it that that got you there, and how hard was it to kind of accept that sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I think back, uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily say I've been um, over the last few years, but it's just kind of how, how I was wired growing up and everything, being from North Dakota, uh, smaller school, all those things. It's just you want to work, 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 and push, push, push. And, um, and there's just times where you just need to uh, maybe tone it down a little bit and just listen to some advice that people are giving you. But uh, it's been a good uh, good process um, last last few years, unfortunately, going through this. But, but again, I feel really good where I'm at today. Carson, what, what 
some of the some of the new receivers uh, shown you, uh, particularly JJ or anybody else? Really? Yeah, I mean JJ, uh, you know, bigger guy, and I'm excited, especially once we get the pads on, to see him really use his frame and use his body, and uh, I think he'll help us in the red zone and uh, and do a lot of things really well. Hard worker, great kid. Um, so I'm excited with him and, and really just all the guys. Um, it's just it's always good to get back out here and you see some new faces and um, just kind of guys you've never worked with before that you can kind of start to, to coach up and, and get up to speed and, and see what they can do to, to help this team. What's it been like seeing uh, the way Nate has developed since he came to this team from Washington and how's your relationship grown with him, especially now that you're one and two with him? Yeah, I mean, with Nate being here, um, ever since he got here, it's been just a, a friendship first and foremost. Um, we're so like-minded off the field. Um, you know, I always, I said that the last few years with, with him and Nick, we're all just so like-minded, um, same values and beliefs and everything. So we got along so great. Um, and then just seeing him develop off the field has been awesome. You know, he's put in a lot of hard work um, behind the scenes, you know, being that third stringer the last few years uh, behind the scenes, he's, he's working his tail off and you've really seen it um, with his arm strength, with his accuracy and just understanding of the playbook and then just his body, you know, he's, he's come a long way and uh, he's, he's quite the athlete now. And, and it's been really cool to see his development. There was a lot of speculation on Chris Long's future, now knowing that he's retired, just how do you reflect on being teammates with him? Yeah, I mean, it's a bummer, but, uh, you know, I love that guy. I mean, he was an unbelievable teammate, unbelievable leader, um, unbelievable person, what he does in the community, what he does on the field. I mean, I can't say enough good things about Chris, and uh, I wish him the best in his family. We were talking the other day, and, um, you know, it's unfortunate he won't be in this locker room necessarily, but, um, you know, we, we love that guy. We miss that guy, and I wish him the best. Carson, what's all this working with Deshaun and knowing – how we can stretch the field and how much that's going to help the offense this year. I mean, it's exciting. Um, you know, it's hard to, to really say right now. We're just finally getting going. and um, But again, it's exciting just the dynamic that he can bring. Um, and I think it'll ultimately, whether he's catching balls each game or not, I think it'll open up some things underneath and he'll be a huge uh, addition to our team. Are you and Nate, uh, a couple of new faces in the quarterback room. What do you, what do you guys do to sort of bring them into the fold? Yeah. Um, Nothing abnormal. You know, they're two great dudes, Cody and, and Clayton. Um, they fit in great, and they're just here ready to work, you know. And, and so I think really, you know, I think during the season and training camps really when you really kind of start to bond and you spend a lot of hours uh, up in that film room together and everything. But right now, I'm just trying to help get them up to speed. Coaches are doing a great job of that too, and um, they're doing great. So great, great dudes, and uh, I think they're a benefit to our team. Carson, you told us in April that, um, that the bone wasn't fully healed, but it also wasn't the – the biggest thing necessarily. Uh, are you still in the same place, and do you need the the bone to heal in order to, to do the contact stuff? Yeah, I mean, I feel great, and as, as you guys saw today, I mean, there's there's no limitations out there, um, and so I'm out there uh, doing team drills, doing all that stuff, which which seemed you know like it was a while uh, for me, um, but no, I, I feel really good going forward, and obviously I'm, I'm I'm cleared and ready to roll. Were you able to get to the strength level and upper body and everything like that that you wanted to? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been. Um, with with whatever limitations I've had, been you know progressing both lower body, upper body, and I'm just trying to transform my body a little bit this off season. And it's been uh, I think I've seen a lot of development there for me personally. Um, I think that'll help going forward just with staying healthy and, and longevity and everything. How does health transform? Just figures for. Yeah, I mean, you know, just looking at nutrition and different, you know, training techniques and, and really kind of diving into to every aspect, any advantage I can find um, really went into this off season and just A, getting healthy, but then B, what it, what it can look like to stay healthy. And, um, you know, just those are some things that, not to get into any specifics, but that I definitely looked hard at this off season. So what's your diet now compared to say? I, I'm not going to go into specifics on the diet. Uh, maybe I'll write maybe I'll write a book about it someday or something. But um, no, just kidding. Uh, a little bit. Um, but no, you know, obviously, you know, a guy like Tom and, and just you see other athletes just they have their method. They find what's what works for them and, and nutrition and diet and sleep and all those things are a big part of it. So for me, uh, that's something I've really been looking at this off season too. And um, you know, I think you're, you'll see you'll see benefits and, and hopefully you know add years to your career. You feel different? Did you change your weight? Have you lost weight? Or? Um, I'm, I'm close. I'm close. And, you know, I don't really worry about, you know, as far as the weight. I feel like I'm, I'm a healthy weight regardless of, you know, whether I fluctuate either way. I, just, I feel good, though. I feel good. I feel strong. I feel quick. Um, and I think, I, you know, some of those things are paying off. Did anybody suggest that, or is that something you just kind of came up with yourself? Um, you know, obviously you see other guys doing it, so I always was curious. But, um, you know, it's, it's something that I definitely, after this season, I'm like, okay, what – how can I ultimately just not just get healthy and get past this, but but just be a healthier individual going forward for my career? And um, so I just dove dove into it. 
In terms of like durability, a lot of quarterbacks have talked about flexibility, maybe more so than just kind of strengthening and getting yep. bigger. Is that kind of what part of the approach has been? Definitely, yeah. And again, I'm not going to go into all, all the specifics, but but stretching and then just flexibility. There's a whole whole lot of things for for training that that maybe look a little different for me now, but. Uh, at the end of the day, my, my body feels strong, feels good, and um, yeah, I think it'll help this season. As much as you can share, any, any progress, momentum for a long-term deal here? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go into that as, as you would expect, um, but obviously, uh, just the idea. You know, I, lo I love this city. I love this organization. Um, you know, they've embraced me since I got here, and so uh, excited about what the future could hold. But at this time, uh, I'm not going to dive into that. When did you start throwing? And um, how did you feel throwing today? Um, boy, I don't know. It's, it's been a while now. I've been out there throwing and running and, and moving around quite a bit, and I felt good. You know, I felt good today. Uh, obviously, X's and O's wise, things weren't perfect. You know, it's the first day. I'm still trying to just build that chemistry with some of these guys and everything. But uh, you know, arm feels strong. I feel strong, and, and I thought it was a, a productive day. We got to build on it, but a productive day. Carson, off the field question, you've got your charity softball game next week. Can you talk about what that means to you and your foundation? Yeah, I mean, I'm excited about the, the second charity softball game. Uh, last year was a lot of fun. You know, the, the guys had a blast. I know the community showed up and supported us in a huge way. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited about what this year could bring. You know, obviously it, it helps raise money for some really good causes that we have off the field. But um, more so it's just a fun kind of family community event. Um, and you get to see some of these guys out of their elements, you know, swinging and missing at softball and uh, just having a blast, some of the, um, just kind of being kids again. And so for, for the community to just come out and support us, it's fun. And uh, that'll be next Friday over at Citizens Bank Park. We're pretty excited about it. Uh, should have another another good one in store this year. Are you uh, I got a coach. I got you know, it's, Some of these guys are kind of a handful. Uh, you got to make sure they're doing, doing what they're told to do, um, staying in line. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to coach. Take a few more questions. Carson, you know, you, you just talked about how you improve. And look at yourself and you say, you know, I want to get – physically more fit. So uh, you obviously analyze yourself. When you look at your play on the field, were there things that you went back and looked at and said, these are the specific areas that I want to improve? Um, you know, it's something you do kind of every season. And, you know, I, I know after um, my rookie year, we talked a lot about third down. We talked a lot about red zone. And, um, you know, those are the things I know last year, you know, red zone, third down, uh, big moments, late in games, all those things. I just little plays here and there that could have just changed the outcome ultimately. Um, and so those are things I definitely take a take a long hard look at. And um, but at the end of the day, that's just sometimes how the season goes. So for me, it's it's, it's some of that X's and O's, but just a lot of, of physically just getting stronger, feeling better, um, and looking forward to, to staying healthy for for my career. Have you had any? communication with Nick Foles in this offseason and what we miss most about him. Absolutely. Yeah, Nick, Nick and I have talked uh, a little bit here and there and uh, I just miss his personality. He's so laid back, he's so relaxed and I'm kind of kind of wired a little differently. I'm kind of type A, go 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 and he's so so relaxed. So I think it was a good uh, good balance for me to, to see him and, and his attitude and I also miss all the coffee that he made us. Um, so he was he was a pretty good barista as well. So I'll uh, definitely miss him there. Uh, it's it's allowed in the diet for sure. All right, thanks, Carson. Thanks, thanks guys. Thanks.